Gun control is one of the key issues as the November elections approach. Today on the peninsula, Congresswoman Jackie Speer held a symbolic sit-in at a local church. KTV's Jesse Gary is live in Burlingame. And Jesse, beyond symbolism, what does Congresswoman Speer hope her sit-in accomplishes? Well, Ken, the goal is to bring maximum pressure on House members who may be vulnerable in the upcoming November election. There's an ocean's difference between the ideals fighting for and against greater gun control laws. Speer hopes that getting the voting public involved will help tip the balance of power in favor of permanent change. We have a gun culture in this country unlike any other country in the world. Today in San Mateo, Congresswoman Jackie Speer used the pulpit and civil rights overtones to call for congressional action in enacting tougher gun control laws. That will close existing loopholes in a law that's already on the books that requires an instant background check. Speer points to the many gun massacres in our country, including the Charleston, South Carolina church shootings last year that left nine people dead. Suspect Dylan Roof reloaded his weapon five times while carrying out the killings. Civil rights stalwarts say long unresolved social issues are fueling mass shootings. And if we don't do something about the fear, it creates a psychological pain. And it makes one strike out. Any time there is a, a shooting, a mass or, or otherwise, it's an assault on all of us. Many parishioners agree with the overall message, adding the symbolic sit-in is their way to take action. And I feel like I can't just stand back and be silent anymore in the face of gun violence in our country. It's an election year. There's a lot of political stuff going on, and uh, everyone's vying for uh, a shot at office again. John Parkin owns a Peninsula gun store and sees flaws and straw arguments on both sides of this political divide. He says there are already enough laws on the books. Parkins instead favors following a model similar to Spears' proposal, where background information is shared instantly across all states. The federal government next check needs to be improved and accountable for the releases that they do on guns. There may not always be cross-referencing uh, data if one person goes from one state to the other. As Speer wants Congress to vote on her bill when it returns from a month-long recess. She concedes that is unlikely leading into the November elections and then after the elections, so-called lame duck session of Congress. So proponents of change on both sides of the aisle may have to wait until the new Congress and the new president are both sworn in. That happens next year. Live in Burlingame, I'm Jesse Gary, KTVU Fox 